Hi, Deb here, and I wanted to show you my George Washington Carver doll, made by Hallmark, 1979. They did a whole series of historical uh, figures, dolls, and I chose this one this time because a certain Mr. Baker said his students were reading about him, and I thought, I want to talk about him too. And my understanding is Mr. Baker's students are really special people, so hi. Okay, here we go. Um, Hallmark made a series of these, as I said. They came in these little boxes that are uh, represent the person, like plants for, for Mr. Carver. And it's in the front, it's the Tuskegee Institute, which is where he taught. Okay, I'm going to take him out. These are screen printed dolls. It's got like a, it's removable, the jack, the white coat. And he has the uh, sticker Hallmark Cards Incorporated, George Washington Carver. Nice. I am so happy to have this because this is a remarkable person. Okay, we're going to talk about it. I think I, I think I told you all I could about the actual box and the doll. But they're kind of, uh, they have a, like a hinge. For, I don't know, it wouldn't sit down. I guess could if you put a, I don't know, cord. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, here he is. Um, okay, he was born in Diamond Grove, Missouri in 1861 on a plantation as an enslaved person. Um, 1861, so when he was four years old, the Civil War ended and he was freed, but he still lived on the uh, plantation, I believe, until he was 10 or 12. Um, let's see. Let's see, I know I didn't put his birthday down, sorry. Let's see, this man is remarkable because when he went out on his own, he did all kinds of jobs just to support himself. And you know, there were less opportunities for people who had been enslaved. Um, let's see, he, he did household work. He was a hotel cur clerk, hotel cook. He was a farm laborer. He, did, he was a laundryman. He, he did what he had to do to earn a living. And you got to admire that. But the farm laborer, he learned soil. He learned about plants. He learned what he needed to. And he got a high school diploma. Again, wasn't easy for someone who had been enslaved. He tried to go to the University of Kansas, but they refused to take him because he was African-American. So he went to Iowa State agricultural college, got a bachelor's degree and a master of science. Um, he also learned to paint. He was an artist and he played the piano. He didn't let anyone put limits on him. You don't have to let people put limits on you. I mean, beyond obeying the law and <laughs> being a good person, but okay. He, uh, See, what else did I want to tell you about him? Oh, I know what I was. Oh, FDR, President, and President Coolidge both visited him. Mahatma Gandhi and Henry Ford were considered his friends. During World War II, he developed textile dyes because we couldn't get them from Europe then. Brilliant, brilliant man. Um, worth learning about. Okay, now I'm going to read which I don't normally do, but it's not very long. Stick with me. Okay, he was born in 1860. It says 1864. He was born in 1861. Hmm. In 1896, George Washington Carver, a pioneer in soil management and crop rotation, became the director of agricultural research at Tuskegee Institute in Alabama, where he discovered that nutrients in southern farmlands, exhausted by the continual planting of cotton, could be restored by cultivating peanuts and sweet potatoes. By developing literally hundreds of industrial uses for these crops, 
He made the South an important supplier of new agricultural products and earned a place in history of agriculture as one of the most respected and inventive figures. His opportunities were limited, but his mind was not. And he changed his world. So I am so proud to have this doll in my collection. I hope you liked my little history lesson. And I have a few more of these historical figure dolls I might share later. So I hope you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and learn more about George Washington Carver. He's worth your time, okay? Hope this video was worth your time too. So until next time, toodles.